Hey everybody, I have a funny story to tell you today um, because this morning I was brushing my teeth like I do all the time and I have one of those electric toothbrushes. Um, it's not one of those that you recharge but you have to actually put AA batteries into it for it to work, right? And I was brushing my teeth this morning, it's like, you know how it goes. <laughs> and all of a sudden it was going so slow and I thought, what in the world is going on? And I was like, okay, you got to replace the batteries, right? Well, I had a realization when I was doing this, I thought this is just like how the nervous system is and what we do as chiropractors. You see, I actually noticed it starting to slow down a few weeks ago. Um, but what's interesting about it is that it didn't just die, right? So what started to happen was the, the energy or whatever it is that's inside the battery started to reduce and so the functioning of my toothbrush reduced, but it happened slowly. So I didn't really notice it for a while. I mean, I knew it was a little different, but it wasn't enough that I thought I have to change these batteries now, right? Until eventually today it got so slow that it irritated me and I felt like my teeth weren't getting clean enough. So I thought I better change these batteries, right? Well, how does that apply to chiropractic? Well, here's what it is. Chiropractic is all about how your nervous system functions. And here's actually what we look for. We look for a problem called subluxation. Now let me explain what that is. This is just um, a model of your spine. These are just two vertebrae or two bones in your spine. And you can see how they work. They're stacked on top of each other. Between the two bones is a disc, which is basically like a cushion. And then at the back here, there's this opening that's formed between every set of two bones and the nerves exit your spine from there and they communicate with your body. Now let's talk about the nerves for a second. Then I'm going to explain what subluxation is and how this applies to my little toothbrush analogy. Your nervous system is essentially the controlling system in your body and it's composed of three parts. The first part is the brain. All right. That's where it all begins. Off of the brain comes your spinal cord, and that's actually what lives inside of your spine. And then off of the spinal cord come the spinal nerves. And the spinal nerves, they travel out to all the different parts of the body, and what they're essentially doing is they're providing power or electricity, so to speak, to all the different body parts so that your body functions at its best when this is working at its best. Now I compare this to the electrical system in your home. In order for electricity to come into your home and run your house, there are three basic things that are happening there. The first thing is you have a power source, which is the power lines outside of your house, which is just like the brain here. You've got the breaker box, so the power comes in to the house, it goes into the breaker box, which is just like your spinal cord. And then from there, the electricity is distributed through all the different individual wires that go through your house, and they go to different parts of the house and provide electricity so that the house can run properly. So if this nerve or if this electrical wire is going to my kitchen, for example, everything in my kitchen is going to run properly, properly as long as we have electricity. Now, let's get back to your nervous system here for a second. Your nervous system is so important that it's protected by bone. You've got your brain, which is protected by the skull, and then we have the spinal cord, which is perfect, pr protected by individual vertebrae. Now, why are these bones separated? Well, the reason they're separated is so that you can move. You see, I can bend, I can twist, I can lift, and the reason that happens is because I don't have just one solid bone surrounding my spinal cord. I have 24 individual bones that are separated, and that's what allows me to move. But here's where the problem develops. If I have an injury or if I have some kind of stress to my spine, over time, the vertebrae are actually going to start to misalign. They're going to shift out of their normal alignment. And notice what happens when I did that. You're going to close down on this opening where the nerve comes out of. That's going to put pressure on the nerve, and the nerve stops functioning the way that it's supposed to. Or in other words, going back to my analogy, the electricity cannot run through that nerve like it's supposed to, or at least not at 100%. And so whatever that nerve is going to is going to start to malfunction. And this is what chiropractors look for. We call this subluxation, and my goal is to correct that. I want to realign the vertebrae, take the pressure off of the nerve, therefore the nerve starts functioning at 100%. So whatever the nerve goes to functions in 100% and you experience a higher level of health because of that. Now what does that have to do with my toothbrush analogy? <laughs> well, what's interesting about this is that the way that this works is that it doesn't just shift out of alignment and instantly cut off the power to the nerve, 
it happens slowly over time. And so, for example, um, I may have an injury. So the way I explain it to people is I draw this chart and I say that we're all born with optimal health. So I've got my smiley face, right? And what that means to me is, I kind of compare this to a car. We're all born like a Ferrari. <laughs> and if you look at little kids, you understand that. Kids, they're full of energy. They have an injury. They bounce right back. They heal in incredibly fast. But that's because their bodies are functioning at 100%. They're functioning at a very high level. But what actually happens to us is that as we go through time, or as we go through our lives, we start to beat ourselves up. So we play sports, we have falls, we have car accidents. Eventually, as we start to get a little bit older, we get jobs. Some of us, we have jobs where we're sitting all day working in a computer, which is very hard on the back, by the way, because your back is designed to move. Other of, uh, others of us go to the other extreme, and we do work like construction, or we do labor types of jobs, which is also very physically demanding on the spine. And what those things do is that they start to cause little bits of misalignment throughout our lifetime until eventually what happens is that it hits your pain threshold. So what's interesting about this is that we all have a pain threshold, which means that you can have a lot of damage happen to your spine and you won't even know it until it gets so bad that it finally hits the pain threshold and your brain recognizes that there's a problem there. That's when you're going to feel pain or when you're going to feel a symptom. So going back to my toothbrush analogy, the toothbrush or the electricity from the batteries declined slowly over time. And you might notice a little bit of change. You might say, yeah, something's a little different. Maybe as you're going through this process, you start to notice that your energy level isn't as good. You might notice that you're not sleeping as well. You might notice that your digestion is starting to change and that maybe you're getting some heartburn. Maybe you're having some problems with diarrhea or constipation. Something isn't quite right. You might notice that maybe you're not breathing as easily because there's pressure on your spine, but you don't realize it. You don't know why that's happening. You might notice some changes in your blood pressure developing because all of that is controlled by your nervous system. A lot of different small things can start to happen in your body that's telling you, hey, something isn't right here. But if you're not aware of what a subluxation is or if you're not aware of the significance of that and how it can affect your health, you wouldn't have a clue that anything was really wrong, okay? So of course what we do as chiropractors is we find out where these subluxations are, where the power is being cut off, and we correct that problem, we take the pressure off the nerve, and the nervous system starts to function at 100%. So if essentially what I've done in that case is I've replaced your batteries, all right? And now the toothbrush can work perfectly. I'll be happy, my teeth are gonna be pretty, <laughs> which I'm very excited about, by the way, I love my teeth. <laughs> um, but that's actually what chiropractic is all about. So if you start to notice some of those changes, make sure you get to a chiropractor right away. Have somebody evaluate your spine to see if there's any areas where you have these subluxations developing, because I assure you, if you get your subluxations corrected, the earlier the easier, but also if you have them and you get them corrected now, your level of health is gonna be so much better than what it is right now simply because you get those problems corrected. All right, well thanks for listening to my silly, silly analogy today. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you soon.